It was also supported and did a lot of advertising with focus on the family. It is filled with nothing but, well, this and this and this. And you get the picture. Now, this last company it was a shocker to me. And I think it will be for you too. Help support this channel by checking out our link in the description below for the daily grace company to find all the tools you need to take your Bible study to the next level. Howdy y'all, I'm Brylan. In this video, I wanna show you three companies that started out with Christian values or were started by Christian men that have since folded to the pressures of the machine that have given themselves over to Satan because they would rather sacrifice the truth and gain the favor of the world than to remain faithful to God. But remember this. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 16, verse 26, For what will it profit a man if he gains the whole world and forfeits his soul? Or what shall a man give in return for his soul? Now, when I found out about all three of these companies, it was pretty shocking to me. I had no idea. But I will say that number three shocked me the most. The first company I want to talk about is Alaska Air. This is an airlines and they started out, believe it or not, as a Christian airline for lack of a better term. Now Alaskan Airlines was actually started by a man named Bruce Kennedy and he was the CEO of Alaskan Airlines from 1979 until 1991 and then he remained on the board uh, until 2007. Unfortunately, he passed away in a plane crash, believe it or not. But during the time that Bruce was the CEO and on the board, Alaskan Airlines actually used to hand out little prayer cards, psalm cards, and they had Bible verses on them that shared the truth of God's word. Uh, unfortunately, in 2012, after more than 30 years of handing out prayer cards, they stopped doing that. And this was just a few years after Bruce Kennedy, the former CEO of Alaskan Airlines, who was a professed Christian, who actually, he stepped down from being the CEO so that he could pursue being a missionary. And But he remained on the board and he oversaw this and he wanted to share the good news of God's word with every passenger that flew on his airline. And now... Alaska Airlines is a very different company. Today, you'll see that Alaskan Airlines is being sued for firing two flight attendants over the Equality Act criticism. So the Equality Act is basically adding a protected class to anybody that identifies in anything outside of reality, then you are a protected class now. But according to the complaint, Brown and Smith the two employees were terminated after questioning and support for the Equality Act on an internal employee message board. Nothing hateful. They just questioned the fact that Alaska Air was supporting this because this Equality Act is pretty sick. Alaskan Airlines responded to Marley and Lacey's post by immediately removing Marley and Lacey from their flight schedules, terminating their employment and disparaging their religious expression and beliefs as discriminatory hateful, offensive, all the buzzwords, that's what they were labeled as. For over 30 years, Alaskan Airlines decides to pass out scripture cards, prayer cards, to share the word of God. And within a few years after they stopped doing that, they're, they're firing employees for having Christian beliefs and celebrating depravity, as you can see throughout the month of June on their social medias, it is filled with nothing but, well, this, and this, and this, and this. And you get the picture. Oh, and, and this. So not only did Alaska Airlines become ashamed of the word of God, but they've completely gone the opposite direction. And they, in fact, hate you for being a Christian. Hey, real quick, if you want to see more of these videos showing companies that started with Christian conservative values and that have gone completely insane now, would you hit that thumbs up button? You know, when you like this video, it'll help spread this message to more people and it'll help me know that you want to see more videos like this. Company number two is eHarmony. Um, if you're familiar with the online dating scene, then you've heard of eHarmony for sure. Even if you're not 
on online dating, then you've seen the commercials for eHarmony and honesty. It's a cornerstone of the eHarmony process. They've been one of the most popular online dating sites for years and years and years. Now, eHarmony was founded by Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, well, I'm sorry. That's <laughs> that's definitely the wrong guy. eHarmony was founded by Neil Clark Warren. He is described as a Christian theologian and seminary professor who went to seminary himself. He is a professed Christian. But you're going to see in just a second that that means absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Now, Neil Clark Warren has written books like God Said It, Don't Sweat It. He has made it known, his beliefs. And this book follows 100 biblical principles from the Apostle Paul to help encourage you. eHarmony was also supported and did a lot of advertising with Focus on the Family, a very Christian conservative organization run by James Dobson, who is very conservative. One of the the, the main voices in Christianity uh, for a long time. And in fact, Neil Clark Warren only allowed eHarmony to match up one man and one woman for many years when they first started. And eHarmony was almost exclusively Christian for many, many years. Well, after pushback from the machine, he gave in and pulled all of pr the promotion for eHarmony from Focus on the Family, cut ties with James Dobson, and now, as you can see, here's the front page of eHarmony. I am a man or a woman looking for for a man or a woman. So I can click this and I can go, oh, I can, I can, okay, well, is this really that big of a surprise in our culture today? Well, and you also look at their Instagram page and they are not ashamed to, well, real love is this, of course. It wasn't enough to have God on their side. They needed the favor of man more. So don't fall for eHarmony. If you want to do some online matchmaking, then go elsewhere. Because Neil Warren decided that he would rather forfeit his soul and gain the world than stay faithful to God. Now, this last company it was a shocker to me. And I think it will be for you too. Target was actually founded as the good fellow dry goods by George Draper Dayton in 1902. And Target didn't officially become Target until 1962. What George Draper founded in 1902 changed its name quite a few times and then in 1962 became Target. Now George Dayton was a professed Christian. In fact, the way that he ran his company was that he wanted to share his Christian values in his company. He wanted it to be known. Even going as far as to not allow his stores to be open on Sundays because he wanted to respect Christianity and going to church and being a part of the body of Christ, which is a very respectable thing. You see companies like Chick-fil-A doing that today, even though I have my qualms with Chick-fil-A. But that's for another video. And in fact, George Dayton didn't even want to sell alcohol because of how destructive he felt felt it was. And so he, he didn't. He, he ran his business based off of his Christian morality, what he felt led by the Lord to do. Well, today Target is a very different monster. And we all know this. You go on Target and they have targeted plied ads so that you as a consenting adult can shop and get clothes that have pri wait, kids in baby clothing? Okay, this isn't a surprise. You walk into a Target today and you see front and center literally bombarded. The first thing you see is an entire section of plied clothes that are geared towards children. You see all this. Look at this shirt. A pink shirt with a boy with a bunch of dwag people on it. They target it towards children first and foremost, and they're not ashamed of that, obviously. And we've probably all seen this video of this display in Target. See, twans people will always exist on a kid's shirt. You see this shirt down here, busy thinking about girls with a girl on, has her head on the pillow. This is all geared towards, look, children's clothes right next to it, toddler baby clothes. Now that's what I call good, LGB edition. And then this video, take wide. This is stuff at Target for children. 
young teenagers. I don't know if you saw that, but take a look at this. It's literally for, check this out, tuck friendly so that you can tuck your stuff under and it'll keep it, keep it, uh, tucked. This is, this is for, uh, this is for kids too, by the way. Now, Alaska Airlines, eHarmony, Target are just three companies of many that have Christian conservative roots that they have completely strayed from and now literally hate Christianity and any type of morality. But hey, let me know your thoughts about this. Did any of these companies surprise you, maybe knowing the history about them and knowing where they started and where they are now? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button and being a part of this community, I'd love to hear from you on a regular basis. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. You know when you like this video, it'll get pushed out to more people and it would really help spread this message. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.